Hey everyone, it's Mike here from Clicked Marketing, and I wanted to share with you a Google Data Studio dashboard that I put together. This is connected to Google Search Console, and usually this type of analysis and sorting I, I do in Google Sheets or Excel, but I know that not everyone is as good at working with spreadsheets and maybe can't don't know how to set up filters and, and sort through the data as efficiently as, as they possibly could. So I set up this dashboard that makes all of that pretty simple for you. I'm going to show you how it works and how you can use it. I'm going to include a link down in the description so you can grab a copy of this for yourself and you can use it as much as you want. All right, so let's go to the dashboard. The first thing you have here is a connector. This connector, if you click on it, it'll pull up a drop down menu. It'll show you any Search Console accounts that you're connected to through the Gmail account that you happen to be logged into or the Google account that you happen to be logged into right now. Any of them that you have access to will show up in this. I'm not going to click on it because I have some clients under NDAs in there that I don't want to show to everyone. But um, if you click on that, it'll be a drop down menu. You select the account that you want. Right now, by default, it just connects to the Google sam sample data that you use when you're setting up a, a new dashboard. So I'm just going to use that for this video. Next thing you can do is select a date range. So it has um, you know your typical last seven days, 14 days, 28, 30 days. Um, you can look through the week, the month, the last quarter, all of that. You can also set up a custom range. You can pick dates that you, you want to look. So we're just going to do the last 30 days. And the next thing you can do is sort by country if you want. So if you wanted to sort by just US traffic or just UK traffic or whatever traffic you want, you can do that here. You can sort by the device, so desktop, mobile, or tablet. If you only want to see one or two of those, you would select those. So like if we wanted to take out the desktop traffic and just look at mobile and tablet traffic, we can do that. Then you have the option of looking at individual landing pages if you want. Now what, the, what it shows in the chart here is the search term, the landing page that matched up with that search term, the number of clicks that you got, number of impressions, click-through rate, and your average position. Let's say that you want to see data on just one specific page, though. There's a certain URL you want to look at. So you can click on the landing page, and you can actually just start typing it in to search for it if, if you know specifically which one you want to look at. Or there's a drop-down menu. You can pick whichever one you want. So let's just pick this one. And what it does then is it pulls. Now I can see all of the search terms that this landing page, that this specific URL is getting traffic for. And I can see where it's average position. I can see what the click-through rate looks like, impressions, clicks, everything for this specific URL. And you could do this for multiple URLs at a time if you wanted to. And I'm going to go back to all the pages. Then there's, there's three other options that you can sort here. And these will have different opportunities present themselves. The one that's probably not necessarily the most useful is the impressions. I included it because sometimes I will look at this, but let's say you wanted to search for keywords that only had an impression, um, let's say it, more than 25,000 impressions. So you could use the selector for greater than or equal to, and it'll pull up only search terms that showed 25,000 or more impressions. I'm going to reset that. Uh, and you can combine these, these filters. Let's say that there's a specific search term or a cluster of terms that you want to look at. You can use this filter, the query filter, and you can select uh, queries that are specifically equal a certain phrase um, that contain a phrase, start with, you can use a regex. So let's just say we're going to do contains, and I want every search term that contains the word YouTube. And then it sorts it and you'll see all the search terms that contain the word YouTube and all their data. And I'm going to reset that again. The last filter that you can use here is, this is probably the one I use the most often, is the one that this will let me, let you search for your average position. And what I use, there's, you have these same selectors, but I use the between a lot. And let's say that I want to look for search terms that have an average position between, let's say 10, and 15. So these are ones that are right at the bottom of page one or just off of page one. And these I see has opportunities that just with a little bit of work, we can, these are keywords that we can probably bump up 
a little bit higher and, and increase traffic quite a bit for. Uh, again, you can combine these filters. So if you wanted search terms that were between ranking between 10 and 15 position on average, but then I also want ones that have impressions of, let's just say 5,000 or more. There you go. So it'll pull up those keywords. And now I know these all rank between 10 and 15 and they're all getting at least 5,000 impressions over the past month. So there's all kinds of different ways that you can combine these filters to get the data that you want and find different search opportunities. Again, I'll leave the link down below. What you'll do, if you're not familiar with Google Data Studio, you'll go to the link right here. You'll wanna make a copy and you'll see this pop up. Keep the, the data source the same. Don't change this. Um, you want to use it because it'll it'll break the um, it'll break the dashboard. So just keep this the same. You hit copy, and whatever Google account you're logged into, you'll now have a copy of it yourself. And you can change this. You can play with it however you want. Uh, make any edits that you want. When you go to the view, you'll get this drop down uh, where again any Search Console accounts that you are connected to under the Google account that you're logged into you'll be able to see, uh, pull them up quickly and see all the data for them. So I hope you guys find this useful. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.